Well, the Eastern Conference Finals is all knotted up after two games, uh, even though the Bucks are ahead on the aggregate by 31 after Friday night's blowout game two, and that's not the way the scoring works in the NBA. Uh, they won it by 34. It's actually their second 34-point win of the postseason, while for the Hawks, it's their most lopsided playoff loss in 11 years. Afterward, Nate McMillan came away impressed by the Bucks' new level of intensity. Uh, you're playing for uh, a trip to the finals, and uh, they showed us that there's another level that we have to uh, get to. They were just more aggressive. They didn't, uh, they didn't really change up too much of their defense. I've got to make better reads, and uh, I mean, I, I take complete responsibility for, for what happened. Taking care of the ball is something i got to be better at, and uh, um, I, I will be better at it. So um, it's really just they, they just up their physicality tonight. I've seen physicality from defenders all, all playoffs, and uh, I mean, it's I mean nothing new, so I just got to be able to respond. You know, when you see a point guard picking up full, now you're, you're behind him, you're ready, you're ready to go. And um, man, he, did, he did the unbelievable job. He he forced him into turnovers. He he made it as tough as possible. I think just mix it up, make it difficult for him, uh, not, not get too many easy looks. Uh, last game, he was living in the paint, um, had a lot of floaters. Uh, those were pretty much layups for him. Um, I don't think he went to the free throw line much tonight, uh, which is also pretty big for us. Obviously, you're going to watch film tomorrow. Uh, we're going to see what we did better from game one to game two. And we got to keep doing that and do it better to game three. Hopefully, that's in the back of your mind what they might switch. But at the end of the day, we got to focus on ourselves and how can we get better. What a complete 180 this series has taken. Trey Young with 48 in the Hawks' road win in game one. Game two, six of 16 nine turnovers and a minus 29 while he was on the floor. How did the Bucks change it? Well, what they did is they kept them out of the middle. And for a point guard, we, we want to stay in the middle of the floor. That's where we are the most dangerous. And, and what you see right now, they're forcing Trey Young to the sidelines. He's going east and west now. He's not playing in the middle of the floor. And when he gets inside the paint, there are, there are big hands. You see Brooke Lopez, who was dropped at the front of the rim the other night. Now he's out at the three-point line. But you see Drew Holiday getting over the top of the screen as opposed to going under the screen. And again, keeping Trey out of the middle. When we talk about elbows and boxes, he's playing outside of the elbows. Therefore, he can't get in the middle. And when he makes those drop passes, they're a little bit more difficult because your arms are big. I mean, your arms are long. They're seven foot long arms, you know, in there with paint. Now you're blocking shots. So it's very difficult for a small player, particularly a guard like Trey Young, myself, uh, you know, when, when big guys are on you like this in the sideline, remember the sideline is a defender, just like the baseline is a defender. So when you can push those small guards to the side, and put them out on the sidelines, make them go east and west, as opposed to being able to go north and south down the middle, that takes away all my advantage. And then when big guys switch out, if they got their arms out, now, Matt, I have to take one, two, maybe three dribbles to get around. Mm -hmm. But when those arms are down, I can take one dribble, get around that defender, and now I'm in the lane. But when they get down and they spread those arms out, as we see, saw Lopez do on the sideline, it, it's, it, it's almost impossible for you to get around that big guy. And if, when you pick it up, you better have good vision and you better hit you know, those four passing lanes, the two shoulders or one down uh, you know, on the legs. You can't get the over the top, that fifth passing lane that Magic Johnson has. Right. Right? So the taller <laughs> yeah. point guards, they have that fifth passing lane. So when those big guys get on you, you got to be able to hit those four spots and you got to be able to hit them on time, on target, and they got to be quick. Bucks took a different approach defensively, but also noticeably more energy, more fire from Milwaukee, and they knocked down some threes. So. How much of that carries over into, into game three here in Atlanta? Well, they were at home, and it's hard to – look, as a coach, if I can bottle up the concentration, the focus, and the energy that my team plays at home and take it on the road, Matt, no disrespect to you and Zeke, I would not be sitting here with you, and I wouldn't be on the sideline. I'll be sitting up in the ivory tower selling my formula. Look, that's the thing. And so as bad as Atlanta looked in game two, Atlanta can flip the script. They're going to be at home. They're going to be comfortable. They're going to feed off the energy of the home crowd. And the hard thing for the Bucks is 
How do they travel with that? Right. They're going to have to come in locked in, focused, and they're going to have to jump on Atlanta early and try to take the crowd out. Atlanta's not stupid. Trey Young's watching his family. One adjustment I would make if I'm Trey Young, I would tell my bigs, set a little bit better screen. If Brooke Lopez is going to come up, that's great. Bring that screen up higher. Brooke Lopez is still dropping. If you give Trey Young some room, he can't dance with the ball. Attack Brooke L Lopez early and quick. Get him on his heels and then get into the guts and spray the ball to finish. But right now, he started playing with the ball in game two too much. He started getting cute with it. And I think Trey had got a little bit overconfident because I've never seen nobody do this shimmy before the shot. Yeah. Normally you <laughs> shimmy after you make it. Yeah. But Trey Young was playing with so much confidence, he did the shimmy before and drilled the three. So I've never seen that type of confidence. So he just got to get back, refocus, and understand that he's playing against a very good team in Milwaukee. And when he watches the film, there are some opportunities. He's just got to be a little bit quicker and more decisive with the ball. There was no shimmying in game two. No. That's for sure. I can't wait to see what the Atlanta crowd has uh, cooked up for Giannis at the free throw line now. This whole 10-second <laughs> thing has become a oh, yeah. thing now. Uh, that, that'll be fun. Game three coming up on Sunday. <laughs>